Joan Peel, I can him off a wheel. He used to play on the football field. He scored a goal up an Annie Goat's hole, and that was a goal for the Rangers. I lived in Mosblow until I was nine. I was born in 1943. Mosblow was a wee mining village in the South Ayrshire coalfield, about four miles from Burns Cottage. I lived there with my mother, my father, and my sister, two rooms. No inside toilet, no running water. It was number 71 in a long row of miners' cottages. So we go and see my auntie and my uncle. So it's your auntie and uncle. It's my uncle Harry, it's my auntie Mark. You're related through your Uncle Harry. Uncle Harry's my mother's Mom, Right. Brother. Okay. Family resemblance. <laughs> there is. Strong Don't family know if that's resemblance. A good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Has he been a good nephew? Yes. Am I? <laughs> right. Have I been a good nephew? Pardon? Have I been a good nephew? Just say aye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like Mary said to me, like his sister Mary, eh, when she said to me eh, about Neil when going to the army, you know, she says, Auntie Margaret, I don't know where I got my to. She says, both desperate to get into the services. And she says, it's not as if anybody, it wasn't any of the relations of that, was a career person. Right. So the same applied to Andrew, you know. Huh? <laughs> He's achieved a lot. Uh -huh. So we've been in this house from 1958. We got married in 1955. Oh, gosh. And how long has he been feeling poorly? Uh, maybe about three years now it started. So we uh, went, I think it would be three years next, the beginning of next year. And uh, he's been, uh, grand I know he is getting worse, slightly worse. But there's some days he's fine, like he was not bad with Andrew there at all. Absolutely, like. yeah. And uh, other days he's no so good. And how are you finding it? How are you in yourself? It must be hard. I'm not too bad. So it'll blow up now and again, but he forgets it. Like, he forgets it, you know, that uh, I'll get angry with him sometimes. But as I say... He forgets it about a quarter of an hour after that. He's forgotten I've said anything to him, Jane. So, uh, And who looks after you? I look after myself. Oh, nobody looks after her. She looks after herself. We're having to go now. Where's your father? It was just a quick visit. A quick visit? Aye, ah, yes. They're off. They've quite a lot to do. OK? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. You look after yourself. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll give you a ring at the weekend. Okay. Cheerio, Uncle Harry. Cheerio. I'll give you a ring at the weekend. Right. Cheerio. The, the station was there. And these are the two lines that the coal trains still come down. See up there. Hey, 
really see the railway lines, but... Maybe up there, just beyond where that hut is, would be the house, and there's the railway line. There's a long, long, just a long road. And when I was four and a half, I used to get woken up by my father in the middle of the night, and he'd bring me at walking down, and I'd be thinking, what the fuck? And I found out much later it was because but my sister had just been born and my mother didn't want me to see her breastfeeding. It was fucking four <laughs> and a half. And it would be down there. Just about there, I'd like, be walking down there, thinking, what am I doing? It's the middle of the night. And down about where the road is now would be the toilet. You had to do the toilet. You went and got out and went down behind the rows. That's where the loo was, a wee wooden hut. <laughs> if you wanted to pee, there was a bucket by the door. But what you dreaded was if you wanted to have a shit, because you had to wake your father up, and he'd take you around the back, and he'd go to the end, he'd be standing outside shining a torch, saying, have you finished yet? Have you finished yet? <laughs> Now I spend hours in the loo. <laughs> Have my breakfast in the loo. I wonder why you're because in there I so can't. long. <laughs> because I can't. And maybe saying, Have you finished yet? Wonder why I was what? In the loo so long today. No, it's because it's just, it's like, I, it, this has stayed with me all my life. 